Hi guys, welcome back to day number six of quarantine quiet time. We are in our plan, Who Am I in Christ? And so this morning we're going to be taking a look at Romans 8, 35 through 39. So let's take a little read. Who can separate us from the love of Christ? Can affliction or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, because of you, we are being put to death all day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wow. That's a lot. It's really powerful um, for us to know that we are something more than just able to conquer or overcome a situation, but that um, we can be victors in it and we can be thriving within it. And it's not just trying to get by and be able to um, make these changes or get through these hard times, but that we have a powerful God who is with us through all things, who comes to us in our deepest points. Um, I heard recently somebody say something on the lines of that God comes in the famine and that whenever we are within this really hard part that of our lives, whether it's us struggling with relationships, whether it's us struggling maybe with school, maybe something with um, physical, maybe it's something emotional, like whatever it is, that God is going to overcome that those moments with us and not just conquer it with us, but like walk through it with us to the point that we have the power to release ourselves from those things. And so um, instead of us focusing on like, I just need to beat this thing, I just need to beat um, being upset over this, or I just need to beat being able to um, make these changes in my life, uh, that we have a God who is powerful and wants to walk with us and wants to help us um, be resilient and resisting um, the things of this world and our fleshly battle that we have going on within us. Like the spirit and the flesh are constantly at battle. But the thing is, is we will have victory if we um, are choosing to follow Christ and be walking with him. And it's something that is a really beautiful sight to behold. Um, and it can be very intimidating walking into it, but we have somebody who is so powerful, who loves us, wants to be right there with us alongside in the trenches as we go through difficult things and the battles that we face in our life. Um, and we're not just gonna overcome them, but we are going to have so much more. We're not just gonna hit the bare minimum of, oh, whew, okay, we won that battle. We're gonna win the war when it comes to walking with God. And so I encourage you guys, to remember that you guys have a powerful God. We all do have a powerful God that is walking alongside us and wants us to overcome these things, not in a way to just finish it, but in a way that we can have a new life with him after. And it's something that is really beautiful, but you cannot be separated from this powerful God and that you cannot be separated from his love and that he's seeking you out. Um, so try and find him too. All right. Love you guys. I hope that we will see you tomorrow for day number seven. Bye.